cares for the two you pray. Feel our minds, stir our hearts, move our being, nourish our spirit, make us one body with the living word of God. Make us one body with the living word of God. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Dear friends, today we also celebrate the memorial of St. Therese of the Child Jesus, Virgin and Doctor of the Church. As we begin our celebration, we prepare ourselves by acknowledging our sins so that we make us worthy in the celebration of these sacred mysteries. Altogether, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy. Christ of mercy. Christ of mercy. Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy. Let us pray. O God, who open your kingdom to those who are humble, who are humble and to little ones, lead us to follow trustingly in the little way of St. Therese so that through her intercession, we may see your eternal glory revealed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Reading from the book of the prophet Baruch. During the Babylonian captivity, the exile prayed, Justice is with the Lord our God, and we today are flush with shame, we men of Judah and citizens of Jerusalem, that we, with our kings and rulers and priests and prophets, and with our ancestors, have seen in the Lord's sight and thus obey Him. We have neither heeded the voice of the Lord our God, nor followed the precepts which the Lord set before us from the time of the Lord led our ancestors out of the land of Egypt until the present day we have been disobedient to the Lord our God and only too ready to disregard his voice and the evils and the curse that the Lord enjoined upon Moses his servant at the time he led our ancestors forth from the land of Egypt to give us the, the land follow, flowing with milk and honey, cling to us even today. For we did not heed the voice of the Lord our God and all the words of the prophets whom he sent us. But each one of us went off after the device of his own wicked heart, serve other gods and did evil in the sight of the Lord, our God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. O God, the nations have come into your inheritance. They have defiled your holy temple. They have laid Jerusalem in ruins. They have given the corpse of your servants as food to the birds of heaven, the flesh of your faithful ones to the beasts of the earth. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. They have poured out 
their blood with water, like water, round about Jerusalem, and there is no one to bury them. We have become the reproach of our neighbors, the scorn and derision of those around us. O Lord, how long will you be angry forever? Will your jealous jealousy burn like fire? For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. Remember, not against us, the iniquities of the past. May your compassion quickly come to us, for we are both very long. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. Help us, O God, our Savior, because of the glory of your name. Deliver us and pardon our sins for your name's sake. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. Please stand. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to them, Woe to you, Chorazin! Woe to you, Bethsaida! For if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would long ago have repented, sitting in sackcloth and ashes. But it will be more toler tolerable for Tyre and Sidon at the judgment than for you. And as for you, Capernaum, will you be exalted to heaven? You will go down to the nether world. Whoever listens to you listens to me. Whoever rejects you rejects me. And whoever rejects me rejects the one who sent me. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Sa isang guro, pinaka, isa sa pinaka-importanteng bahagi yung uh, natututo yung mga tinuturuan mo, natututo yung mga studyante. At uh, we know very much how difficult it is, how laborious it is to teach liban sa isa sa paka pinakan mababang sweldo ang uh, mga teacher dito sa Pilipinas. Kaya nga ang consolation ng mga guro ay yung yung, cons yung makita nila, malaman nila, maging sigurado sila na natututo yung mga tinuturuan. That's the consolation kapag ka po uh, nagbibigay kami ng exam at uh, kaya ako hindi ako nagbibigay ng exam na objective memorization what I would usually give is essay question and answer sapagkat doon ko nakikita kung natututo yung aking mga studyante no? mahirap nga lang sapagkat ang haba ng babasahin mo eh, but that's the only way and when you see that what you have taught for a long time, no, in a laborious process, no, ay nakikita mo doon sa mga sinulat nila, sa mga answers nila, kahit paman konti, naiibsan yung pagod no, at napapangiti. Yun yung balik po sa mga uh, nasa teaching profession. Why did I begin with that? Sapagkat yung ating ibanghelyo, appears to be a condemnation. Woe to you, Corazin. Woe to you, Bethsaida. These were places uh, wherein the Lord taught and then uh, did His great miracles like yung, uh, yung bulag na kumuha siya ng, uh, ng soil and then put a spittal, gura, and then put into the eyes and then before that before the people they saw how the blind was cured 
it was also in one of these towns wherein the Lord performed one of his very dramatic um, miracle that is yung binaba doon sa roof yung isang paralytic if you remember that sapagkat yung bahay na kung nasaan ng Panginoon ay punong-puno ng tao and then yung paralytic could not be could not even enter the house because of the number of people so ang ginawa ay iniakyat sa bubong uh, nagbumutas ng part ng bubong at ibinaba napaka-dramatic di ba no and after in in front again of those many people he cured the paralytic so in those towns Corazin, Bethsaida and Capernaum he was performing well not only performing well he was teaching well those were one of uh, the, those were the places where in he did many of his great miracles no? a teaching moment for the people and yet ito yung ano caveat and yet even if he did all of those things in these towns it seems na hindi nagbreeds hindi tumimo no hindi nat binatuto and then in the gospel that we read today if you imagine the lord he seems to be very frustrated ikaw nga ba naman ha? perform mo na yung lahat ginawa mo na yung lahat no? the greatest of uh, your miracles were done done there and yet wala hindi tumimo so, kaya the lord said in the gospel woe to you sapagkat kung itong ginawa ko sa inyong mga sa inyong mga towns i did this entire in sidon ora urada they will already repent ora urada they will already be in sackcloth ora urada tumawag na sila sa sa dios at humingi ng kapatawaran and yet with you ang tigas ng ulo ninyo ano pa ba ang kailangan kong gawin parang kung tayo no nagsirko na ako no o ano na maginawa ko lahat no and yet hindi tumiti mo that that's the sentiment of the lord in the gospel for today dear friends today also we we celebrate the memorial of saint therese of the child jesus a very cute saint no cute in a way uh, that her heart is so simple and so pure that things for her is a very simple relationship between her and between God and God and because of that simplicity whatever it is that she sees around the beautiful the good you no know, comes from God and it really impacts her relationship and improves uh, her relationship with God that Saint Therese, the simplicity of her heart, the simplicity of her person, allows her to appreciate God even in whispers. Today, the gospel and what we are, the saint that we are celebrating, is also inviting us to reflect into our own lives and to look into sa buhay natin yung mga pagkakataon that God did miracles. That God uh, did good to us. The graces that we have received from Him. Ano ba? Naputo ba tayo? Ano ba? Did it improve our relationship with God? Ano ba? Nagkaroon ba ng direksyon? Ano ba? Lumalim ba yung pananampalataya? Ano ba? Mas naging mabuting tao? Or are we going to also hear what the Lord said to this town woe to you because i did my best and yet you did not listen your heart is so hardened that not even my words was able to pierce through me dear friends if we look into our lives alam natin nagsalita dyan yung panginoon if you look into our lives Alam natin at makikita natin yung kamay ng Diyos working in our lives. Hopefully, in this time that the Lord has given us, we will be able to appreciate that. And say thank you for all the many graces 
and the good things that we receive from God. Kindly all stand. Let us glorify our Savior who chose the Virgin Mary for his mother. Let us ask him, may your mother intercede for us, Lord. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. You made Mary full of grace. Grant to all men and women who have been called to serve your people the joyful abundance of your grace, that they may become living witnesses of your love and their vocation of wholehearted service. We pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. You taught Mary to seek the glory of God above all else. Grant that our government leaders may through their sincere desire for the greater glory of God lead the people towards the real and the integral progress of society and humanity. We pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. You made Mary the uncorrupted ark of your dwelling place. Through her intercession, grant the strength to the weak, comfort to the sorrowing, pardon to sinners, salvation and peace to all. We pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Mary received God's word with an open heart. May we free ourselves from useless anxieties and learn to entrust our life under God's loving protection. We pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. For all of us gathered here, may the example of our blessed mother continually inspire and guide us in our oblation to protect lives. We pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. For those who are affected and afflicted by COVID-19, especially our health care providers and frontliners, the sick, and those who have died, may through the guidance and grace of the Lord, the government and private agencies swiftly find cure and solution to this pandemic. We pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Now we pause for a while, and in silence, you now offer your personal intentions. All-powerful God, we rejoice in the protection of the Holy Virgin Mary. May her prayers help to free us from all evils here on earth and lead us to eternal joy in heaven. Grant this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we proclaim your wonders in St. Therese, O Lord, we humbly implore your majesty that as her merits were pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find flavor in your sight. Through Christ, O Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. 
It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, our Auxiliary Bishop, Gerard, the Master of the Order of Preachers, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. stand at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to pray Peace. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said the apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer to one another the sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, behold our Lord Jesus Christ, our healer, the Lamb of God, the old who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand there. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord, kindle in us the force of that love with which St. Therese dedicated herself to you and longed to obtain your mercy for all through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. The Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on October 3, 2021, first Sunday of October. The schedule of the Masses on that day will be the following, 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon, and High Mass at 4 p.m. to be presided by His Excellency Socrates B. Villegas, D.D., Archbishop of Lingayen de Guban, and to be followed by sending off of the pilgrim image to all the streets of the Poblacion of Manawag, please light a candle outside your homes as the image of the, of the apple bucket passes by. It will be concluded with a closing ceremony. See you all here or join us live stream via Facebook, YouTube, and Manawag Dominican Radio 102.7 FM. Thank you. Please stand. Dagdag po, uh, we would like also to invite you tomorrow at uh, 6 o'clock to join us and to watch the launching of the activities for the canonical coronation ng Apo Baket and Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. 
by 2026 pa po yun, but we have five years uh, preparation for that and there are activities lined up. We are going to launch it tomorrow at 6 in the evening and in that launching, kasama rin po yung launching ng mga songs, mass songs na kapag ka po narinig ninyo ay uh, it, will, it will be identified with the minor basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag and with our devotion to Our Lady of Manawag. So, bukas po, IC lang naman po yun. Uh, mga nasa 30 to 45 minutes. So, we invite you. Uh, it's going to be broadcast through live stream po in the same uh, social media platform announced a while ago. And also, maraming salamat po sa pagdalaw po ninyo sa Minor Basilica at sa pakikisa po ninyo sa Banal na Minsa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Lord bless you. In the name of the Father, and the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. A mass ascended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord through one another. Thanks be to God. We shall now say the prayer for the blessing ng mga may sakit and then to be followed by the prayer of blessing para sa inyong religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness all the sick brothers and sisters, freedom from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, I will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may your religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.